the behaviors and the symptoms of autism are relentless. The kids in this program are at the severe end of the scale. So this program's not for everybody, but it's for a very difficult group that need a high intensity, structured, high staff to pupil ratio. Chloe and Cameron are both on the autism spectrum disorder. Uh, they're both on the uh, moderate to severe end of it. The children have been in the summer program now for three years. It's the reason why I'm able to work throughout the summer. My youngest son is gonna be 19 uh, next month. Noah has been in the program since he was seven years old and he loves going. He might not be able to talk, but we do tell him that the summer program is coming, you're going next week. And the day of the program, he was extremely excited. And he can talk, but he knows. Every single year, the parents have been pleased because it's one-to-one -one ratio. We work on behavior, communication, social skills, bring them out into the community. In the classroom, we, we, there's a bunch of uh, different activities that we do, um, arts, music, uh, fine motor skills, table tasks that are geared towards their ability level that they can, uh, they're, that they're able to achieve. Well, I have been coming here since the summer of 2013. What I like about the summer camp is doing everything of we what we have done in our math and science and language and arts center. We have been making like dream catchers and fans and jellyfish and we made our own name tags for our lockers. With 40 plus staff that are in the facility plus all the children, you get to have a lot of that one-on-one -on -one and they do activities with them on a daily basis. They maintain physical activities which then decreases any behaviors. Three days a week they go swimming to St. Clair College. They also go play mini golf, outdoor mini golf. They play bowling. They go to other parks. They go to splash pads. They need to be out there. They need to adapt to being in the community and doing things that the average kids are doing. Students love going out to all those different activities, seeing their reaction on their face when they're actually out there and, and uh, doing the interactive uh, abilities with their fellow peers. It's awesome to see. The staff in, in my classroom have been treating us very well, like making sure that the rules are being followed, make sure that they keep us safe while we're in the classroom. Having that feeling that your children feel so comfortable in this environment, it's so heartwarming to know that I'm dropping them off for a program that they get so much out of. They like exploring. They're not scared to do anything. They trust that when mom drops them off, that they're gonna have a great time. It's almost a reassurance that we know, okay, they're gonna have something out of their summer. They're gonna still get the help that they need and the parents are gonna get some respite that we need. Parents have a comfort level that the staff are trained and skilled enough to deal with their child out in the community and in the school. The summer staff is phenomenal. I've never come into contact with people that have only had my children for six weeks that create bonds with my children. You see the smiles on their face when we do something. We, we can be goofy and, and those kind of light moments in life. Each year when I come back, I'm always seeing something. I always learn something every day, every year. And I've been back for 14 years. I think the parents can't imagine not having this program during the summer. It bridges that gap from school year to school year. Without the summer program, I don't know where, where it would turn to next. You know, we, we would most likely have to have an in-home worker that would come and work all day long at the house with the children. They would not get all the activities that they do at ASI. They would not get all the physical activities. They would not go swimming three times a week. It would be just a different dynamic. The program to me is a necessity. That's, it's a must need for the community. It's a must need for parents. And it's not just for the respite aspect of it. It's for our children to thrive. I just want the program to continue because it's needed, it's obvious, the numbers are increasing. So fundraising is critical to keep this program going. Starting in September, we start saving for day camp for next year because it's so valuable to the kids and they get such meaningful um, activities and events and they, they come out of it so much, so many changes that they happen throughout those little six weeks. It goes by so fast, but it's so meaningful to the kids that they, they love it so much. Remember, people with autism and their families are among the most vulnerable in the country and they're some of the most needy. 
and it's a good cause and it's the right thing to do to contribute to fundraising events and I hope everybody does. I get such a high from people believing in us and coming back every year and saying I want to donate again to one of our um, events. They know the money is staying local and it's helping kids with autism in the community. A child that's born with autism will eventually grow up to be an adult with autism. But they can improve their symptoms over time with the proper treatment, the proper programs, and with both the therapist and the family being involved. And I say that from experience. My daughter's going to be turning 41 in a, a couple of weeks, and she still has autism. But her symptoms have lessened and eased over the years because of uh, help from programs like this.